chance. I should have refused it. No, it was good you took it. If you had refused it, then there would be the legal presumption that you were intoxicated since you took it. And I failed it. No, 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 no. You were right at the legal limit. That gives us the opportunity to attack the test. Was it administered properly? Was it read correctly? If there's a hint of human error, then you are legally sober. What about the field sobriety test? Uh, touch your nose and all that stuff. Come on, you were just in a serious accident. Of, of course you'd be disoriented. You have a case here. Her name is Becca. Don't say anything else, Garrett. Miss Bradshaw, Mr. Connors and I are so terribly sorry about your loss. But he has every legal right to maintain his innocence and to pursue an acquittal. You know, Barbara, you're thoughtful, but you're not open. You're passionate, but you're hard. You're a good, kind, decent woman, and I love you. I really do. But you're a goddamn pain in the ass. I don't know what you're talking about. And we both know it's not true. Give me the cure and I'll let you through. I can't do that, Julian. This cure is meant for someone else. My daughter's been sick for months. Do you have a daughter, Caleb? Yeah, I do. And you know exactly what I'm willing to do to make sure she feels better. I don't have a choice. Give me the cure. Wake up. Wake up. You all right? What happened to you? Oh. You see a short dude with a bag around here? Yeah, stand. This is Matt. I'm over at Will Car. I'm gonna call you back. No, okay, thank you. Do not hang up. Do Listen, you all cannot be doing this in front of me. Put your drugs you away. Cannot be doing this in front of Lena. Michael, Lena. Michael, Lena. Michael, Lena. please Lena. take Lena. your Lena. seat. Lena. Darling, if I need Lena. your help, Lena. I will ask for it. Please sit down. Okay? Sit it down. Now listen, people. Listen, people. Roy and I are going to turn around. Right. We turn back around. I don't want to have a reason to call the police. Okay? One, two, three. All right, everybody. Hey, Michael, put those away. Put those away. No, not in your pocket. Back in the bottle. Set it down, Michael. Let me see your, no, your other hand, Michael. Bring them back here, Michael. Michael, put them back. All of them, Michael. Now put the lid on and give it back. Michael, one more. Just put them back here, Michael, and I'll give Put that back in the bottle, okay? What's his status? Patient fell and hit his head. He's unresponsive and he's got auditory bleeding. Vital signs? BP is 150 over 94, heart rate 110. Okay, let's put an IV in him and take him for a CT scan. Okay. Now, people, let's move it. Everything happened so fast. And what if you had let him live and he killed a dozen more people? Or a hundred? You know, you did what you had to do. You can't keep asking these what-if questions. It'll drive you crazy. You know, when I was your age, my dad sat me down and he said, Caleb, you may not believe this, but I know what you're going through. Of course, I didn't believe a word of it. But as I got older, just as he did with his father, I realized my dad was right. He had gone through a lot of the same things, and experienced the same problems and frustrations when he was younger. But I can't say the same thing to you, John, because when I was young, I never had to worry about where my next meal was coming from or what friends of mine would be killed by sunset. 
or if I'd have to kill somebody to save my own life or the life of someone I love. 